Let's draw the Lewis structure for C2H5+. Plus. This is the ethyl radical. So it's a radical because it has this charge up here. Let's first count the valence electrons and then draw the Lewis structure. Carbon's in group 14, sometimes called 4A. It has four valence electrons. We have two of those. Hydrogen, that's in group 1. We have five hydrogens. And the plus here, that means we've lost an electron. If you lose an electron, since they're negative, you're left with a positive charge. So we need to subtract a valence electron. So 8 plus 5 is 13, minus 1, 12 total valence electrons for the C2H5 plus Lewis structure. So let's put our two carbons here next to each other, and we'll put hydrogens around them. Next, let's put a pair of electrons between atoms. This is going to form the chemical bond. Remember, we only have 12 valence electrons. And at this point, we've used 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 of our electrons. We're done. We've used all our valence electrons. All the hydrogens have two. Their highest energy level is full. This carbon here has eight, but this only has six, and we've run out of valence electrons. At this point, there's really not much we can do. We don't have any more valence electrons to use. So this is going to be the Lewis structure for C2H5+. If you calculated the formal charges, everything would be zero except this carbon here. That would be one plus. Often with ions, you'll see there's brackets placed around it. Some teachers want you to do this and then put a positive sign outside. But what you'll see most often is an asterisk just put right here outside to show that this is a radical. Since this is a radical, it's not very stable. I mean, it has six valence electrons on the carbon. That's not stable. So this is usually an intermediary. It's very reactive, and it would form a bond with something else pretty quickly. But if you're asked to draw the Lewis structure for C2H5+, this is how you do it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.